Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to do a Pell World, say that five times fast, server, Pell World. So this is standard procedure. You've installed Windows GSM. You've installed the Pell World plugin. You've downloaded the server. The instructions to that part is linked. Uh, in the video. Now, once you've downloaded the server, you're going to need, before you do anything else, you need to just start it. Let it run. Server started. I recommend do not embed console on this one. You can, but it's, it's wonky. And then toggle the console and you'll see your server's running. It runs super fast. Starts up super fast. It says started. So just give it a second if you're not sure, you know, and then stop it. And give it a second to stop and the server stop. Now to configure this, if everything goes smoothly, you'll need your IP address in here. This will be the name of your server. And these will be your ports. So this is where you will change your ports and your server name. The other items you can change will be under server files. What you'll need to do is take the default world settings, copy it, go to PAL, saved, config, Windows server. Server files, PAL, saved, config, Windows server. And then you'll paste it in here under, it's the same thing as PAL world settings without the default. So you'll paste it in there. You can also copy the interior and paste it in here. And when you edit this with Note++, it's a one long entry, so it's kind of a mess. Then in here, you will want to change is multiplayer right there. B is multiplay. I changed it to true. And then just save that and start your server. This will not work, uh, will not show your server running correctly on Steam Query Tool. That tool is out for this one. When you log into the game, you're gonna check for your server name under PAL World. Yeah, this, this is the first tap, this is every, when everything goes smoothly. Oh, also your ports. You're going to want to open ports 8211. I would open a range 8210 to 8215. And I would also open 27015 to 27020. And if you want Archon, you need to do 27025. All, there's going to be a link in the description about the instructions because if this part doesn't work smoothly, then you need to do the next part, which is what happened to me. So now we're going to do part B. Now, I had an issue with my server. It worked fine when I was on the LAN. But when I did my server outside of the LAN on its own internet connection, I could see my server in the list, but I couldn't connect to it. It'll show your server name, but under the ping, there's a dash. So it's there's no ping, and you can't connect. If that happens to you, then what I recommend is, is you're going to go to makeyourownserver.com. And you're going to go to server setup, PAL world. And down at the bottom is another plugin. This is a plugin I, I adjusted. So you'll download the plugin. It's an ODT file. You'll have to save it as a text, then open it on, with Note++ and save it as a C pound. That's the correct um, C language. Then, once you've saved it as the correct um, file type, which is a CS file, 
you're going to go to server files. You're going to go up a level to Windows GSM. You're going to go to plugins. You're going to go to PAL World. And then you're, you'll have in here PAL World CS. You won't have these two. These are the two I made trying to get this to work. Copy your PAL World that you just downloaded and renamed into this folder. It'll overwrite the PAL World CS. That's exactly what you need. Then we're going to go back up. Also, make sure your server's off when you're doing all this. Once you've downloaded, or I'm sorry, overwritten your CS file, then we need to reload it. So then you'll go back to Windows GSM, go to Plugins, and Reload Plugins. Make sure that it says Installed and Loaded. You know, it's the same number and there's no fail. Beautiful. Now, you will need to edit everything inside of the PAL world. So, server files, PAL, save, config, Windows Server, and PAL world settings. Now, and most of the stuff you need is at the end. So the server name, you want to put that in. If you want a password, you go ahead and put that in. Um, the port shouldn't be okay. Public IP should be able to leave blank. If it doesn't work blank, you can try your IP. Um, that's going to be your IP4 IP, which is this one here. Under edit config, it's that same IP. And again, this still is not going to show under... Uh, Steam Query Tool. It's an Unreal Engine that could be why a lot of those don't show. So once you've adjusted this inside of your configuration file, now you're just going to start your server. And we're going to come over here. And this part here, if I can find my game here, this part here will be the same both ways also. I'll explain that in a second. So your server's running. You're going to join multiplayer game. You're going to go to community servers. And this only shows like 200 servers. So you probably won't find it in a list. Especially the first time. You can try to sort by days ascending because your server will be brand new. And you may find it should be under zero. Now this is one day, two days. Are we over three days? Yeah, I'm at four days. Okay, this is what happens when your server is not configured correctly. Your ping will be zero. So on those circumstances where you've configured your server correctly and you pull it up and there's a dash in the ping then you probably want to try the altered CS file with the altered CS file as you can see now we can see our server for most people it seems they do not need to alter the file but for me I had to on the LAN, I could connect no problem. Everything worked as it was supposed to. But as soon as the server and the, the computer I'm playing the game on were on two different internet connections, that's when I had trouble, which would be the same case if your friends are trying to connect. Just something to be aware of, something unusual for this, this server. So again... If that happens, when you use the CS, you'll have to configure everything with the uh, PAL world settings INI file. Other than that, it's a fairly normal, easy install. I think that just about wraps this one up. So, all right, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.